Hello, explorers and enterologists. My name is TB Skyne, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where this time, this time for sure, this, this time for sure, we're going to the Underdark, and we're, we're gonna explore in the Underdark and see things there. We didn't, we kind of didn't, we kind of didn't do that last time, uh, because I got, there was, I, many things distracted me, but this time, this time, we're going to the Underdark, and we're gonna explore things there. And then once we've done that, maybe leveled up one more time, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe we can go try and talk to Lazel's, uh, Lazel's people again, and this time not get turned into mincemeat immediately. Oh, what are my subclasses? Well, uh, someone in chat asks, I have a College of Lore Bard as my main character. Trickery Domain Cleric, obviously, can't really change anything about that. I have turned him into a thief for the extra bonus action and dual wielding. And she's a Wild Heart Barbarian, which is the default. Oil Barrel. You know what? Uh, well, Karlak. Well, well. For me. Could you, uh... Yeah. Just... Just take that along. I, I have come to find that it is actually very useful to have, like, a few... I, these people must have bags of holding. Uh, just have a few of these. Just, like, around. Just, like, you know. Just in case we need to set something on fire a lot. A lot on fire. These things have stayed interesting. Now. Okay. That's locked, which probably means that we need to, yeah, shoot the moonstone. But then, also, there was a minotaur out there who just, like, ran at the gates. Uh, and if there's more of them, I would like the gate's defenses to be active <laughs> so I can run away and drag them here. Um, but uh, I guess nothing ventured. Nothing gained. Oh, wait, could I also? There's a petrified drought on it. Hey, could I unpetrify him? Oh. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. These boots hang on. Seen uh, Shadow Heart, you have rest. Hmm. Would that lift petrification, lesser restoration? No. Hmm. How then would I get the petrification off of that guy? Because it's not like I have anything more powerful for. Hey, well, that's remove curse. That's not. Yeah, it's it's a greater restoration, right? Or basilisk oil. I definitely don't. Uh, well, actually, fuck. I don't know if I have basilisk oil. Who knows? Maybe I do. I have four hundred million billion things in my inventory. Uh, I have uh, faltering will, heart of stone, insanity's kiss, lost time, broken promises. Antidotes, Lover's Avarice, Fire Resistance, Poison Resistance, Arsonist Oil, Drow Poison, Potion of Flying, Potion of Featherfall, Potion of Animal Speaking, po Oil of Dimunition, uh, Oil of Accuracy, Potion of Glorious Vaulting, Mind Reading, Potion of Speed, Vitality, Toxin, Suspicious Poison, Wilted Dreams, Wyvern Toxin, and I have a Basilisk Oil! I have one! There's one right there! <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, then. Uh, hmm. Hmm, okay. I'm a little... A little concerned about this. Everyone else minds their business. I'll be fine. So, um, if this goes horribly wrong and I get slaughtered by something powerful, I'm gonna save scum a little bit? Lie on my feet. But if it does... Oh, there's a lot of them here, actually. Hang on. Mm -mm. Well, see, now I'm asking the question of, um... 
What, uh... My hand slipped. What, 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 what petrified them? Exactly. What, um... What, what was, what was it that did that? Ah, huh. Okay. How do I... I don't want to administer to Tarja. I want to... How do I do that? A Loth Sworn Drow, so they might be hostile anyway. I just have to throw it, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, throw. 45%. Target is too close. Fuck, I'm not missing with this. I know it has the splash zone. I know it's probably going to hit, but I don't... Mm. I am not about to. Okay. I don't think I walked forward enough to trigger a cutscene there. What are you doing? I didn't tell you to go there. I didn't tell you to do that. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god, it's a fucking beholder! Oh, fuck off! I was being so sneaky! Oh, it's a spectator, it's not a beholder. Okay. Well, at least he's helping. Why are you hostile? Why do you have so many attacks? Oh, spectator's charm. I see. Oh, uh, you have many. Why do you? Whoa, do you? Oh, right, because it has one for each eye. Oh, okay. Um, well, that just wasted my unpetrify potion. So I guess I could try and okay so you can damage them with any damage and that'll break them out of the charm okay right I mean fuck it we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot Perfect. okay yeah not much not much chance of sneaking up on a on a spectator yeah I didn't think so Can Asterion get past now? Because Asterion is like the one guy who has maybe a chance of passing this uh, sneak check. Nope. <laughs> it's... It is good at looking. It's very good at looking, and I don't like that. Okay. Blood comes easy these days. Fine. Uh... Let's give it another target to shoot at. There we go. Hi, you're with me now. Uh, help? Damn it. Yeah, get dazed, motherfucker! Disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Good. I like that. Faith will protect me. Okay, do you have anything that we can really use on the wisdom check? Curse. Permanent wisdom. Well, it has the per wisdom disadvantage already. Just give it attack disadvantage? That wouldn't be too bad. Or maybe I should just actually, maybe given the HP it has. Blood! 
Maybe I just blasted with everything I have, actually. You've that should do it. Brave mistake. Yeah! Oh shit! Fucking hell! What were they doing here? Ah, uh, eat shit and die. What the hell just knocked me down, though? Well, I'll take your stuff. Happily. Oh, hello! Lightning blast. A memory shard. On my way. I'll take those. Anything of use? <laughs> Ooh. The spectator's eyes. Spectators are hideous aberration that float above the ground, fiercely staring around and shooting beams at anything they don't appreciate. Which gives me two level three necromancy spells. <laughs> also, I am rather encumbered right now, which I should probably do something about. Hey, Carlac! Let's go talk to these poor bastards. Hmm. I, by the demon web, it has been so long. Dawn dead. I need to think. <laughs> what were you thinking, fighting a spectator? A mistake. All of it came with the wizard, Dawn. He was looking for treasure and promised a cut. Or so he said. A rival of his popped out of nowhere. Sargrim. Something like that. Unpleasant fellow. They had words. Nasty ones. Sargrim summoned the spectator. I never saw one like that. Petrified us all. What were Dorn and Zargrim fighting about? Hard to tell. More spittle than words. Something about a forge, I think? A forge, you say? Not certain, though. I have some masterwork weapons I want to forge. What comes next for you? I need to free the rest. Somehow. That's unusually benevolent for a drow. A loth swan drow, anyway. Backpack. Ooh, dexterity saving throws plus one. I can use that for something. Flesh once more. Crack. A pity dawn cannot say the same. A word of thanks would not be out of order. You still breathe after taking that tone. Let that be your thanks. That's more like it. That's a lot sworn drow. Oh, my head. Well, okay then. Can't really go anywhere from here, it looks like. Ah, it's one of the torch stalks that got blown up, I guess. Then I can go down here, and then eh, there's noxious fumes. I mean, I do have barrels I could put on the vent. Yeah, I know. Carefully. There's a trap. Right. So either it's suck up the poison damage with a sterion and disarm them, or... Would you two please not walk into the fucking poison trap? There are traps about. Yes. Another difficulty class 30. Why is it class 30? Oh, come on! Well, he took no damage from it. Oh, it's because the torch was on the... I should have picked up the torch first. Whoa! Yeah, because now that's just going to keep happening. Okay. 
Right. Let me see. Where does this lead? Down over to something over here. Which I can get there from following this down there. Okay, so it looks like there's another path over there, so I don't need to go past all this nonsense. Okay, uh, shoot the gem, I guess. Hmm? Why doesn't that open the door? Well, Shadowheart liked it. There's a lever. No time to rest. There, it's there on the floor next to the. There's a lever. Well, if the lasers were gonna shoot me, at least now they won't. Need to find a way. Okay. Kind of feeling like if I was one of the cell unites, I would have put traps out here. So let me just be. Tiny bit careful. Alchemist fire, I'll take it. Bet that will fit in my pack. Some water. That's hmm? Not a chance I'll fit in there. Ah, but there is. There is a chance you might fit. No, wait, we need Gale, Gale for that. Uh, Best get going. In large reduce, he has Not that. Over. Through. Hmm? Journal of High Initiate Jarrus. It always felt vainglorious to think my deeds worthy of a personal journal, but as I watched the drow mass outside our gate, I realized my arrogance is already of a far costly sort. I see no harm in tipping the scales a little further. Not for me, but for those who followed me down into the dark, they deserve to be remembered. Initiate Norn Remus, lost in the deep tunnels as we fell back from the drow. Initiate Fulk of the Northern Wastes, grazed by an arrow and succumbed to poison. Initiate Bree Brecca, who stood against the Dryder with her only, only her mason's hammer. And initiates they are, the entire company, for they have seen and suffered too much to be called novices. We've collapsed the tunnel behind and have made it ready to open the gate. Perhaps we can carve a path through. And if not, I will enclose a list of names. Let the annals show that whatever their end, their cause was the same. One high initiate Jarrus wished to stamp his name on the history of his church. He sought to forge a path through the darkness, not realizing there are some places the light was never meant to touch. He was a fool. Well. Oh, your book is coming with me, buddy. Hmm, again. I haven't found any use for ropes yet, which bothers me. Ooh, another journal, Something which bothers me a little bit. I can't sleep without the moon and the stars. As a child, I prayed to them before I ever knew Saluna's name. Is that blasphemy? When I walk the battlements, the only light I see is the glow of their eyes out there waiting. I know the High Initiate is making a plan. He'll get us out of this. We're making a stand. Moon maiden, fair, lend us your light to guide us home in the dark of night. To keep us on the path of right, ever burning, ever. The last line of the prayer succumbs to blurring as if stained by something wet. Quite, I can imagine what. Oh, hang on. Staff of the Moon Maiden, probably a good thing to pick up. What does it do? Well, this staff's blah, 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 use among... Oh, doesn't do anything. It's just a nice staff. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Hang on, wait. Hang on, wait, What's hang on. Inside? Dorn was a wizard, right? Now, I don't suppose Revivify would work on him. But I do suppose... Aw, oh, too damaged. Too damaged. Aw. Oh, darn. I felt clever for a second. I felt clever for a moment. No, he got mangled too bad. 
Oh, right. I picked up the thing of the thing of he had on the thing. He had the thing on him, which was a thing. Uh, aha! Let's see. Examine. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Use! A dull crystal glowing only faintly. Arcana. Try to determine its function. Obviously. Maybe? Ah, oh, barely made it! <laughs> you heard its like described before. A memory shard used to store brief mental impressions from the user's mind. Okay. Gently probe the thoughts within? Hey. I'll I'll burn inspiration on that one. Might as well, frankly. The crystal's glow swells, drawing you into its depths. You are transported somewhere deep, loud, and hot as the hells themselves. Within the underdark's bowels, beyond an ancient stronghold. Hovers a giant hammer waiting to fall. An echoing clang and you're back to yourself. Left only with a firm sense of a place, a grand forge. The Adamantine Forge. Well, let's see. That revealed the location of it. Okay, so that means it's now on my map somewhere yeah it's right there probably behind some things Break. can't believe I actually managed to beat that spectator it had so many status change attacks do I want the best armor in the game obviously I do but I'd like to find it on my own first if I'm in danger of missing it you know cool, you can yell at me but I have to imagine it has something to do with the forge, right? I'll pick up a crystal, sure. Yeah, I don't like that. Gods, what's happening? That's a good question, my dear PC. That's a good question indeed. Uh oh. Ah, shit. The hell was that thing? Okay, that's, uh, is that gonna be one of, what are those burrowing things called? The big insect things? They have a weird name. It's a D&D &D monster. I have fought it before in D&D. &D. No, not an Umberhulk. It's an insectoid monster that buries. The air is thick with spores. They must thrive in the dark. Not a purple worm. It's a smaller beastie. It's like immune to fire damage, I think, or resistant. Sure. Who? What in the hells are you? They're coming. They're coming. Ah, when you have sex with your non-binary friend. Tell me I'm not imagining that voice. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They are coming. You are coming. When you're very bad at dirty talk. <laughs> Is that the spores talking to us? Are we... What? Uh... Hello. What could go wrong? Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Ah, uh, this feels holy. Yeah, let's say that. Because it kind of does. Ah, well, mm, okay. You can't recall anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about swords to count. I mean, fuck it. If it's cursed, it's cursed. I have terrible strength stats. Hey! 
way. <laughs> Feels like you're warring with ten people for the blade, but with another hard yank, the weapon slips free from the stone. Received, Felar Aluve. What are you? You are a longsword. Cool. I actually have proficiency with that. Let's see. What do you have? Melody. Well, that sounds very much like my kind of thing. The sword hums in anticipation, ready to burst into maddening shrieks or bolstering song. Well, fuck yeah. Absolutely. That is, yeah, that rules. That works for me. Let's see. I don't think a this is a short sword, actually. So, a Sterion. Could make use of that. There we go. Let's move. Cool. I I was fully expecting something to explode or an angry ghost to attack me. Time to press ahead. Okay. Let's try down this way. Yeah. Time to cause confusion. Best not get too close. <laughs> This game really does have a habit of, like, it rolls a thing and tells you, hey, you shouldn't go close to BOOM! <laughs> and then everything explodes. It really has a habit of doing that. I don't like that very much. Okay. Ahead. If y'all... Idiot NPCs could please not walk through the evil spores. I should appreciate that very much. Whoa! Ah, uh, get out of the way. Okay, ah, uh, there's not really anything for me to shoot at. But I guess I have a turn to prepare. Put a shield spell on yourself for a sec. Seems like a good idea. Oh, hi! Okay, not not the creature I thought it was. This is a bullet. It's another boss fight! Oh, okay. Okay, strength high. Not a lot of wisdom, though, so we can scare the thing. Which is good. What, really? You're gonna take fall- Okay, I mean, I guess it is a pretty steep hill. Uh, nothing for it but to dash, then. Oh, she's encumbered. Ah, well, hmm. I should maybe have noticed that. Wait, ra- Oh, right. You can't concentrate on a spell when you're raging. I forgot about that. And I'm in melee range, so I can't get out of range. Mm, I do have resistance to whatever damage it does, so I want to get out of its melee range. Please. Ow. Okay. I did not have resistance to acid damage. Didn't see that coming, I will admit. Now, can I, uh, scare you? Thank you. Good. Appreciate that. Hey, hey! Whew, okay. Never a dull moment. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. 
Oh, it's just knocked out. <laughs> As my feet can carry me. Well, I don't really feel like I need to kill it. I got the experience, right? Where was the berserker armor? I'd love to, thanks. I mean, do I have to kill it? <laughs> there we go. Now it drops its loot. <laughs> A shovel, a bucket of bone, and a berserker armor. Huh. When an enemy damages, the wearer gains wrath for one turn. Which is plus one to damage with melee weapons. That's pretty good. You can wear that. Okay, so that's a thing to know then. That if a creature is unconscious, it doesn't drop its loot. Maybe I could have pickpocketed it. I don't know. You gotta kill him. You gotta kill him to get dropped. Oh. Oh, that looks like a really dangerous place to fight something. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a dangerous place to fight something. And there's a mic in it here. Fire resistance. Of course it has fire resistance. Hmm. Okay, let's see. This is just the path leads back up to... Okay. Screw it, we've come this far. Let's keep exploring this direction. You don't say. Yeah, let's just, let's just get ahead of that. Let's just get, let's get out ahead of that immediately. None of that, please. Oh. Ah, uh, hello. That's a mushroom man. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever does it mean? It means you've lived a life of shin. Sorry about blowing up all the mushrooms. I hope they weren't your friends. Talk to you in a second. Just wanna... Scout up here for a second. Oh, another Minotaur. Let's not fight him. Scroll of Color Spray. I'll take it. Scroll of Shatter. More for me. And of Tasha's hideous laughter. Take those as well. Happy to take Shatter. That's some AoE damage. Hello. Swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign. They have come. They are here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. I thought I killed you in Mass you Effect 1. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Uh, just passing through? Really? Let's see. Hum a peaceful... That feels like... That kind of feels like my thing, doesn't it? You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Hmm. I sense your fear I've come to aid you. Well... I'll kill you! <laughs> It's just, ah! <laughs> it's just, it's just kill. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you, sure. Fungal roots weave through your mind. 
seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Yeah, cool. That's, uh... Please don't poison me with anything. That would, that would, that would suck if you did that a little bit. Oh, it's Deergar. They don't want to talk. Okay. Why? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Need the... Want the... Got. Good. I've got the shortcut. I've got the thing. Is there a traitor here? Yes, there is. Well, then immediately go to the camp for a sec. <laughs> Don't take the mushrooms, but yeah, I noticed. I noticed they were all outlined in red. <laughs> so I figure it's like, yeah, let's, let's not touch look. them. Okay. Now, you. Please move. Thank you. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Hmm, I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. Our Tell me more, comrade. suffered needlessly for generations. Do you also seek peace among the Mykonids? Uh, not exactly. I collect mushrooms to sell in the server. I don't know why I would lie. This is where I belong, but right now I can't stay. I know the feeling well. What has driven you from home? Can I barter with you? I just need to sell stuff to you right now because of I, I'm encumbered and I want to get rid of it. Now, what do we have here? Uh, temporary hit points. Melf's first staff. In spite of, or perhaps because of his suspiciously amusing name, the wizard Melf was quite lit quite a talented spellcaster and an innovator in the field of the arcane. He even led an order called the Knights of Luna. Eh, well. You get a plus one to spell save and spell attack rolls? That's actually kind of good. Let's see, the Baneful. Let's see. Bound to an Eldritch Knight or if it is a Warlock's packed weapon. I mean, it's a short sword, so no... Uh, Boots of Genial Striding. Unimpeded by difficult terrain. That's not too bad. Scorching Ray. Pretty good. Psychic Spark. Shoot an additional dart whenever you cast Magic Missile. Oh, Balance that out. Barter. There we go. Uh, explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Zerg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside their head, but they haven't turned. No ceremony. Yeah! Oh, hello! That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Yes, please. A mind flayer? Die! <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm gonna ask about the Anilithid is your friend? How's that possible? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. I no longer serve the Grand Design. I ask that you refrain from violence. While I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. <laughs> You'll die like the rest. What is the grand design? 
A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Please, yes, actually, I am curious. Let us see what lurks within. Absolutely, sure. Give me the tentacle touch, Daddy. As the Melowan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. What happens if that stasis goes away? I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes. But that wasn't my point. Okay, I don't... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with the... I don't think this sound effect is supposed to keep running. Okay, well... Can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve... Severe cranial trauma. Uh, don't, 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 that doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Hmm. Tell Amelium about the strange mind flare ship he was on. Yes. set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest heroes of the Illithid Empire. There we go. We ruled oh my the God. entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Well, thanks for all the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal, but I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. I like these guys. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Hmm, bypass. What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Is it? <laughs> hmm. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity However much you possess <laughs> should remain intact. That's cute. Lovely. So, where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery, perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but 
she refused. Her experiments on Suserbach took priority. Suserbach, you say? I would like some of that because I can make a cool weapon out of it, I think. Uh, all right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. Oh, there we go. I've never seen anything like it. Is my species evolving? Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Well, could you tell me where she lives? Research in the Underdark sounds like a dangerous prospect. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. Oh, save failed arcana. Darn. Probably that's a check, not a save. <laughs> what have your studies uncovered? This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. <laughs> don't, don't think I want to bring up the slavery to him, though. I greet you, child of the dark. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Well, could you tell me where she is, uh... You've certainly got a lot more individual ambition than your kin. Why is that? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the elder brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled before the colony discovered I had defected. I like him. So are the tales of slavering, brain-lusting mind flayers exaggerated? In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains, he required souls, a perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world, and he preferred its rot. So I left his company, and thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Aha. Uh -huh. Best way to deal with that sort of hunger, I suppose. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost, yes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you spoken with Scris lately? Yes, she's cataloging Kuotuan fertility rituals. I'd love it if the voice lines played here. Oh, perhaps after I finish my research here, I'll join her. Y'all done chatting there? I like this a lot. I, I'm, uh, I'm really happy because like, long, long time ago, I used to read the uh, Forgotten Realms books. Um, specifically, I read the R.A. Salvatore uh, Drist. Would you please not get confused? Uh, novels which deal with like it's uh, Drizzt Duerd and uh, like the most famous sort of drow character, um, and they're not great novels in hindsight. Like looking back, oh boy, there's mm, there's some there's some there's some there's some um, there's some things in there that are not great. But what they did do and what they did very successfully is they portrayed the Underdark as something vital and alive, like as a place that is full of societies and peoples. Um, as a place that is full of like, like interesting culture and history. And like it dealt with like, it dealt with the mind flayers. It dealt with like the, the cults of Loth uh, that the drow worship. It dealt with this Fenef Flippin and like Duagar. And like it, it did a lot of good stuff to sort of build out the Underdark as an interesting world and an interesting campaign setting essentially. Um, and I'm so happy that they're sort of engaging with the Underdark as something more than just a giant dungeon full of monsters. A drow. 
Play nice, or these shrooms will be on you in a flash. I know. Now, doubt you'd care to notice, but you didn't see a dwarf on your travels, did you? Balin's his name. Ah, uh, can you describe him? Bald, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. <laughs> Haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Who is he to you? My useless husband. Oh. <laughs> Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. I mean, maybe he just ran away. <laughs> I, you know. Well, I could look for him for a price. Please. I know better than to promise coin to a stranger. He'll find his own way out, or he won't. I'll wait a little longer. What a bleeding waste it'll be to come all the way down here for nothing. Well? Seems nice. What are you doing down here? Right now. Waiting for my idiot husband's return. Lest you've seen him, we don't have much to discuss. Well then, show me... There must be something else you're up to. Like I told you already, I'm waiting for that Lummox Balin. The rest is my own business. Fair enough. Show me wares. Show me what you've got! Healing word and mass healing word? Shit, that's too good. I Someone needs to wear that so that they can be like a secondary emergency healer. Ooh, heavy armor. Can't have anyone wear that. Actually, no, give me those grease bottles. They've turned out to be kind of useful. Expensive shopping trip, but uh, what you gonna do? Since I'm not gonna be using these yet, I will, I think, I've been thinking about my character in terms of when they would be convinced to try one of the tadpoles, just to see what would happen. And it's not yet, but we're getting there. Like, they're getting to the point where they're probably going to have to... ...allow it. God, I have a lot of abilities. This is what I get for playing a bard. So many abilities. Fleshwalker. Tongue talker. You hail from the dark, yet far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. Fill your heart of memories of your most treasured place. Yeah. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove. Filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. I do not belong here. I am not welcomed here. Well, uh, sorry to hear that. Do you need some help with any of that? Like, some rewards, maybe, or...? I grow among them, yet I am not of them. No, you're you're cool? Okay, yeah, well, uh... So sorry to hear that, man. Uh... That, that's rough, buddy. Seems like the introduction to a side quest of some kind, but I guess not. Best be on my way. Oh, what is the creature doing to those corpses? Ah, uh, probably mushroom shit. The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. 
The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. I admit, I like this one's approach. A little genocidal, but effective. <laughs> Let's see. Art, deception, imitate the sovereign and lie. It's a strange thing to do. Reply in kind. Tell me of the invaders, how the scourge moves, fights, and how it will crumble. The sovereign's song twists into images. Dwergar changing size, slipping in and out of invisibility, invoking craven divinity. An illusion comes over you. A Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. Well, it now you're talking my language. Service. We will await word. Absolutely. You harbor a fugitive gnome? Admirable of you. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Okay. <laughs> a haste spore flask. Huh. Is that AoE haste for my whole party? Because that seems pretty good. Let's talk to... Yeah, let's talk to the other guy, as someone says in chat. Let's talk to the big guy now. See if he has anything new to say. Now that we are on a mission from God. So, Francis. Sovereign's spore has sung your fate. You will cleanse the Dwergar rot. I will join you. Hey, party member! Are you sure? It's gonna be dangerous. I am the danger. And I am the cure. They erased my people. I will erase theirs. I mean, cool. Absolutely. Uh, what threat do you pose to Dwerg? I, I think I can tell. Very well. You may join me. Remain in the Underdark, and I will follow. We cleanse the rot together. Woohoo! Companion. Let's see. Multi attack against the target that's prone. Okay. Muscular. Has advantage in ability checks and saving throws and athletics. Sun sickness. Yeah, no, we're not taking him upstairs. Don't you worry about that. Let's see. AC 14. That's okay. Right. Let's see what you have for actions, shall we? Hide, fist, multi-attack, only at prone targets. So there would be a reason animating spores. Release spores at a corpse to animate it as a spore servant? Oh, yes, please. So, punch, and that gives poison damage. So there's a good reason to try and knock enemies. Like, a grease bottle might right. be well-placed to help him be effective in combat. Okay. So Balin is somewhere out here probably being attacked by something horrible. And we have the Dwegger intruders right next to where the Adamantine Forge would be. Oh, ho, 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 how the things come together. Let's start by taking advantage of our newfound friend here a little bit. Oh, wait. This is where he'll let me in. 
if I help them. Oh, that's a dead guy. Um, and that'll give us some stuff. Okay. So if I wanted to try and find Mr. Lost Dwarf Man, how would I go about getting up to the northwest there? Kind of have to go around then, I guess. Uh, or jump on those mushrooms? Huh. 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 Hmm. Okay, well. Near the Sovereign Spawn, there is an important gnome, but I think they only appear after you leave this place and come back. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Use. I'd rather just examine it. Keen eyesight, the hole below you soon plummets into an abyss of impossible darkness. Hello. Your call echoes as it plunges downward, before gradually fading away. Hang on. What? Really? I can't jump? Okay, well. Oh, there's some NPCs back here I need to talk to, apparently. I don't- and thank you to chat for that, by the way. Like, it's- if it's miserable. I do want to know about it. Like, if it's like I'm about to miss out on... ...something important. Or there it is. They are. She is, he, him, him. Oh, you're poisoned a little bit, actually. Well, that's not ideal. Eva, I'm finally dead, or you healed me. Why? That's always useful to be owed a favor. I thank you for your help, but I've got to get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Focus on what I need, a reward for starters. Well, you're in no condition to help anyone. Maybe not, but you are. I need you to rescue my kin. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan, best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. What are the Dwergar Dwer digging for? Some dusty temple. It doesn't matter. They'll work my clan to death before they ever get near it. What was this expedition your clan was on? Just mining for materials. Uh, nothing unusual. The briefest hesitation, but enough. She's lying. But our work pays well. Help my clan and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Hmm. Yeah, Shadowheart isn't the person to try this, but, uh... Charm person? No. No, we're not gonna do that. That's... But I'll take the Bardic Inspiration. Give it a shot! Oh, come on! <laughs> 1d8 bardic inspiration and it doesn't work. I'm telling you, we take care of our friends. That's no lie. <laughs> All right, I'll free your people if I can. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. I nabbed these boots from the greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some dwegger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Boots of speed? Click heals class action. Gain speed and free... Double movement speed. And disadvantage on... Opportunity attacks against you. That's not bad. 
That's actually, I think I'm gonna want to put that on Carlac. Because there are definitely times when she has trouble getting into combat. Next, I wonder. Okay. Um. Take you. Just there you go. Why not? Because I kind of want to take a long rest before I move on. And get my spell slots back. I've been in a few combat encounters. <laughs> oh, hey! He joined me at camp! <laughs> oh, right. Need to click long rest. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. Ah, the girls are fighting. <laughs> Leave them to settle their differences and go to sleep. <laughs> Relic. This is about the artifact, isn't it? That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. What's going on? Why are you two arguing? Lozelle thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear. Lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. Hmm. Any ideas on how we settle this? The bad blood must be purged. A jewel, come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Lozelle. You'll need it. Hmm. I don't love that. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Shadowheart, stop. You don't have to do this. I... Hmm, hmm. I have plus seven... I probably don't need advantage. Good, good, good. I don't need advantage. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Cooperate, Lazelle, for your own sake. Surrender. A disgusting notion. You would better warm to that notion very rapidly or your journey ends here. We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Yeah, what do you got there, Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Pet him. Pet him! Good boy.
Item received. Bone. <laughs> well, I'll treasure it, buddy. Let's see. Anyone else have anything to say? Hey, Lizelle. Speak. Why are you wearing that hat? I keep turning it off. About your quarrel with Shadowheart. It is over where I am concerned. That's a relief. We won't survive this if we don't stand together. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. I will say she wasn't the one seeking it there, Lazel. Just, just, just so as you know. Very glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Also, I will. That's the end of this silly quarrel. They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. I'll say one thing for our troop we're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. I never realized it was so easy to cast magic. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble, opinion. <laughs> it's nothing humble about you, Gale. That's kind of that's kind of how you keep getting in trouble, buddy. That's kind of how you keep getting in trouble. Oh, I really thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight to the death over that artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. Funny boy. Very funny. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazel and I, if you were wondering. We can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. <laughs> That's good. I'd rather keep things friendly between all of us. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Your wound is causing you too much pain, Shadowheart. There must be a way to heal it. Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Sha must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. What if your wound pains you at the wrong moment? It could cost us dearly. That's, that sounds like a persuasive argument to me. Perhaps you're right. But there's little we can do about it just now. Maybe a way will present itself in time if Lady Shah wills it. Hmm. Yeah. Wills it. About that, honestly. Okay. Let's go kick some Dwergar ass. There are some companion quests that are done by going to the Shadow Cursed Lands through the surface. So if you ever get to a place with a prompt of tie loose ends, go back to the surface on the Risen Road and seek a passage of the Mountain Pass. Okay. Good to know. Something about that tree. Shot. Almost like an invisible Deep. hand pulling me towards it's still it. still fresh. Some monster did this, marking its territory. Right, that, and then we have a magic tree over here. Oh, oh, that's a big tree. That's large. Okay, so there's some kind of monster around here. Dread Hollow. Whoop! No, 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 no! Oh my god. 
I really, sometimes, the AI in this game. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, Karlak liked that. Okay. <laughs> Susur, anti-magic field. Huh. Let's see. We can climb down here, and that'll probably get us to where that lady's husband is hanging out. I'll take that. This sensation. These flowers are absorbing all the magic in the air. Huh. Well, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now I am giving off an anti-magic field. That is cool. It's probably very useful for something. But uh, let's 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 send that to camp for the moment, shall we? A path lies before me. Oh, hook horror. Don't love that. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, he sees me. Oh, I guess you can just do... Ow! Jesus! Ow! I guess you can just do that. Son of a bitch. Well, you know what? Oh, shit. Oh. All enemies within six meters have a 1d4 penalty to charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. That rules. That's good. Just kill him? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Mushroom Man. It is your time to shine. Silence. I am leading life. Yeah. Looking ahead. Moving ahead. I think there was another hook horror down here as well. I think I saw another one somewhere. Or am I wrong? I guess I'm wrong. Feeling fresh. Oh, found a waypoint. This is the Susser tree. Oh yeah, there it is. It's hanging out over there. Philro the Forgotten. Huh. Okay. That's... You seem like a wizardly sort. Damn it. I was hoping I could throw the oil barrel in the... Oh, I maybe I can't. N no, because that takes the action. And I don't have a bonus action to use here. Damn it. Okay. Oh, wait. I can click my heels again? Because it reset my action when I got in combat. Which means I can just kind of go and smack that guy upside the head and kill him immediately. Oh, 
Hopefully, anyway. Now, Asterion. Could you, uh, just pop up here for a second and, uh... Oh, look, he's dead before he gets to cast spells. I like that. I appreciate it when he's dead before he gets to cast spells. That's good. Okay. Now, can I have two? Only affects one target at a time. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Another step forward. Hey, you're not, um... Oh, you're not. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hey, buddy. Who are you? You lived amongst those creatures? My pack found me, fed me, mm, no flesh. How did you come to be here? Chasing mystery, mm, riddle, lie, the adamantine force. Hardly a lie. Should I ask what it is or where it is? I only have so many questions. I know where it is. Workshop of Great Siluf Yali Artifacts Beyond Price. Sounds good to me. The glowing tree, what is it? Not from me, though. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Its location already revealed, of course, thanks to the memory shard. Exactly. Huh. Gnome is empty. Give me that tattered scroll. Ooh, lots of scrolls. Hang on, scribbled notes. Lim Brava Lim Ravager, rather. Thank you for subscribing. That's very kind of you. And thank you for three months, too. Let's see. Scattered notes are scrawled by a care I can. Protector, guardian of the Adamantine Forge from Magma Rose, only in Magma destroyed. Hot hammer! Hot hammer! Where? A small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath it. Door nose! Yeah, well, mm. Something's guarding that forge, and it's weak to this hot hammer. Okay, good to know. Let's go to sleep. Mirror image, give me that. Icy crystal. Don't really need his robe, do I? Hmm. I was hoping to find... Oh no, he was up here. Right, so back north with us for now. We'll come back for the rest of the hook horrors later. What spawned the summons? Well, this guy is Sovereign Glut. He's an NPC who we met who wants to come with us to kill some dark dwarves. And this is a thing that the, the Sovereign spawned. Who, he can, like, use, co revive corpses and turn them into servants for us. But only one at a time. Now, can the Hook Horror climb down here? Oh, it can! Oh my god, upside down, too. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's not ideal. That is not ideal. I saw a guy with your exact name on Palea and it brought me here, used my sub, and I'm. Oh, I am not on Palea. That was not me. Just. In case anyone needs to know, I am not on Palea. I don't exist there. Whoever that is, is not me. 
don't trust anything they say. Okay. No, 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 buddy, 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 pal, friend. I, I, I need you very much to not follow me right now. <laughs> No, 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 oh, go oh god, how do I make you not do that? Better make my next move. No! Okay. No, because the group, it... It doesn't ungroup that thing. That thing still wants to follow me. Is it going to follow Asterion? It's not, right? No, because it's a summon that's attached to Tarya. Okay. Mm. Uh... Okay. So, mm, all right. I'm, I'm trying to suss out the puzzle here. I think the puzzle is that torch, that if any of these pop, that torch is going to turn this into an absolute fucking inferno. Right, okay. Uh, I need to put out that torch somehow. Let's see. Probably want to use that for here now. Okay. Okay. That gets rid of the fire. How the hell? Oh, he. Oh, he has only. Has, oh, he has four health. Okay. No, I don't want to take it. I want to... What are you doing? Get out of there! Try not to die. Try not to die. Okay. Whew. Ah. Right. As uh, What were you saying? Hit your head or something? You seem more than a little confused. Fine. Fine. My mind. Not what it used to be. I must need to go for you your trouble Ta. a scroll of invisibility it's not bad oh this hook horror is I have a lot on my mind then well I'm yeah. I'm worried about what it's gonna do Ungroup. Asterion, could you go please just... Oh, wait, there might be something over there. I'm trying to ascertain if I blow up all of this, do I lose out on something? Because I feel like I probably do. No, no! I would like you to stop trying to kill him. Thank you. <sighs> I 
I thought for sure when I turned those candles on I was dead. Ah, not again. Okay, I don't think there's anything down here. The noble stalk. Oh, that thing. Ah, uh, right. Right. Uh Yeah, I guess. Oh, they're just going off now. I guess we just shoot them. Noble stock, huh? Apparently that's important. It had better be given all the trouble I've gone to to get it. Okay, saved the lady's husband. So that's cool. Uh, maybe I can go past the tree to get towards the forge, but that doesn't seem to be the right way. Takes. Oh, I need to take some bark from the tree. How, how would I do that? Exactly. How would I do that? Clicking on something. Okay, I want to get that bark because of the masterwork weapon thing. But it does mean I have to deal with these hook horrors. Good lord, she's a damage machine with that double attack now. Over there. Okay, whew. <sighs> now, uh, Mr. Tree, if you don't mind awfully, Asterion, could you, otherwise the hook horror is just gonna try and follow. Aha, there. Yoink. I got the plans and the system. Now I need somewhere to craft it. The forge at the blacksmith's house should do. Really? I can go to the blacksmith's house at the village? A lot of blood. And a pile of bones. With a knife in it. A tombstone? A rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Sure, let's desecrate a grave. Why not? As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. Oh, a dog. Strange collar. It's got runes all over it. Definitely magic. Though I wonder what they mean. Strange collar. It's got runes all over it. Definitely magic. Though I wonder what they mean. The ground in front of this tombstone has been dug up, exposing the scattered skeleton of a large dog. Yeah, sorry about that, but, uh... Can I put that on scratch? I don't think I should, necessarily, but... It's a kind of village down here. Rather destroyed, but, uh... Oh. 
Hmm, before I go this way, where am I heading right now? Am I getting towards the forge is the question I have. I think I do? I am? There's a dead mic in it down here too. Makes sense. I mean, this wouldn't be their village. A camp. It's abandoned. Execute deep gnome. Oh, great! Don't love, don't love the look of this. Short Sword of First Blood. Deals an additional 1d8 damage to targets that still have all their hit points. I'll take that. No traps, please. That sword can go to Asterion. At least things have stayed interesting. <laughs> you can say that again, Tarya. And I'm sure you will. Okay, dead Mechanid. What's uh it's with the singing? What's next? Ooh, actually I should try. Nothing from you, huh? How about you? The corpse does not respond. Ah, well. Worth a try. Maybe... Oh, I should have tried it on a Dwergar. Boy, you're slow, buddy. If a corpse has something to say while that effect is active, the corpse will glow green. Oh, okay. Good to know. Uh, right. I mean, this will be the way down there, then. Would this be the old Myconid colony, then? That then got driven up? Okay. Okay, let's just try and... I'm just really sort of just trying to get the lay of the land. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwerga. Yeah, okay, so that just takes us back here. Cool. <sighs> I'm really just being kind of paranoid <laughs> about, like, missing something. Okay, so now... Down there. If you miss something big, we will tell you. Well, I mean, people have not discovered all the secrets of this game yet. Crooked Wand of Fireballs. You can use an action to cast Fireball from this broken wand. All very nearby creatures must make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> the metal of this wand is dented all along its shaft and the tip has been entirely out of shape. <laughs> Well, there's a way to go. I 
I mean, a rogue with uncanny dodge, could you put that to use? Cool. Where where do you where where do you smell where do where's the where, um where do you smell the trap? Oh, Dwergar slave hunter. No, but where's the trap though? Where's the trap? Where is the? You can't you can't just say that and freak. Freak me out and not show me where they be. Uh. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us! And I have kind of agreed to kill ya, so. Ah, I see. You're a little invisibility boy, are you? Where do I go from here? Uh Really shouldn't have shouted out loud at me like that. Hi, how are you? What what are you on about? Can't what? He can't fit through the fucking door or something. Very annoying. Hey, buddy. Should have worn some armor, buddy. Oh, he's another bear heart barbarian. Could you please sneak attack the bastard? He has resistance to all of the goddamn damage, which is annoying, but... Get you your happy buff, buddy. Is there a hotkey for dash? There isn't. Okay. Wait, why am I going down here? I don't need to. Oh well. Right, it has the survivor thing. Oh, Sephir! Sephir, thank you very much for subscribing.
From the dark will a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death doer. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. In the age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. Really now? You turn on Spaw, who gave you shelter? A fate it has earned. My circle long suffered while the Dwergar flourished. I sang to Spaw for help. Yet it cowered in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Choose, smooth mind. Help me grow. Did he just call me smooth brained? And reap the reward. Or protect the precious poltroon. As it waits for the circle of glut to devour it whole. I'll have no part of this. It is my right. It is my right. Its delicate harmonies turn to scrapes and scratches. Your corpse will birth my circle. Oh my god, dude. Well... At least that hook horror was low on health. You dipshit, honestly. Another fight. Let's go. Yeah. Never seems to end. Let's see, that's gonna have it's not gonna be. Friends seed spores. It has access to more sport. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Soon as it's hostile, it gets a huge buff. Hi, I love your YouTube shorts. I saw that you're playing Baldur's Gate 3 since release, but I haven't watched your stream since I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Who are you romancing? I don't know. As many people as possible, I think. Oh, I'd love for you to not do that all the time. Haste spores. Two armor class advantage on dexterity saving throws. Movement speed is double. It could take an additional action. Fuck you. Okay. Wisdom is 10, though, so we can do something with that with uh, Taria. What's its charisma? 10 also. Not really worth baning it, I don't think. Befuddled? Oh, the spores were hovering in the goddamn air. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, it might save against Lacerate. Yeah, yeah, spores! Ugh, there we go. Does it have any inventory? 
Scroll of Blur, Scroll of Whole Person, Hastening Spores. Poison Spores, Swarming Toadstools. Okay. Hmm. Blood Smeared Lockbook. Let's pick that up, shall we? What do we got here? Read. A ledger detailing the appearance and quality of numerous gemstones that have been mined from rock. Weight, color, clarity, and more are noted next to a sketch of each stone. An underlined entry for a sizable ruby is written in shaky, excited quill strokes. Well, isn't that interesting? Dwergar Antidote nullifies the effects of certain Dwergar poisons, grants advantage on saving throws against being poisoned, and resistance to poison damage. Nice. Exterminator's Axe. Deals an additional 1 to 6 fire damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. Are all the deep gnomes just dead already? Huh? Water damaged letter? A water damaged letter imploring the recipient to be cautious around the far, far shore of Ebon Lake, as Dwergar are rumored to be prowling the area. Yeah. No, they were. They were. Discarded journal. We threw a surprise party for Ironfoot. How that idiot made it past 150 is a mystery, but it's cause for celebration either way. When he saw the fire whiskey we'd been brewing, he I swear he teared up. I'd only only a cup of the stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. The lunatic finished the barrel that night. I have no idea how he made it to his next shift, but Myrna claimed she needed him inside the wagon to guard inventory. <laughs> the burrow warden didn't say a word when the snores started. Lay about as lucky she's got a soft touch. I'd best get some sleep. Orders came in for practice shovels and pickaxes for the younglings, and I've yet to harvest the shirkwood. Where does the time go? Okay. Ah, that's the path to the adamantine forge. I see. Well, uh, anything else around the camp that's worth picking up? A badly charred diary with property of Vulbrin written on the inside cover. In one of the few legible entries, the author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Barkas again, now that he's departed from the surface world. Hmm. Guess I'll grab that. Hole, yeah, no, quite a few of them. The wall is riddled with holes. A suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. Drow, survival, inspect the holes. Advantage because of Underdark. Critical success. You recognize the odor. The foul scent of carrion crawlers. Centipede-like aberrations that feast on the dead. At one time, these caverns must have been their banquet hall. The creatures are either long gone or waiting patiently in the darkness. Cool. Reach into one of the holes. Ah, <sighs> uh, curiosity will be the death of this bard. The passage narrows and bends becoming impassable before you're even elbow deep. Okay, so that leads us on to a different area. Fair enough. Let's go and see if we can't rescue Vessel those deep gnomes. on the lake's murky waters. I thought I heard the old man say, Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Tomorrow we will get our pay, And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. I'll leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow, And it's time for us to leave her. Hey! Hey, pals! Hi, friends! You there! Drow! Why are you in Gexraft? Cuz, uh, killed him a lot. Just very much murderized him. 
Oh, you shouldn't come aboard. That's a bad idea. I aren't expecting more of you. Where's Gek? Who are you? Okay, let's see if we can t <laughs> push the twerk guy into the water. <laughs> let's see. Well, I have the plus most of them. I saw a body left by the Mykonids. Your Gek must be dead. Good thing I had advantage. Not exactly a barbarian with my bard here, so. Damn it. Gek's gone and screwed up. If he's dead, so's the squat. Move over. I'll take you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. Am I the now? The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'm heading back with the drow. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. There are some advantages to being a drow in this game. The art design in this game is good sometimes. Like, damn! Look at that fucking gate, man. Well, we plowed sideways. We got a welcoming party. Oh, I need to make good on the conversation rolls now. You shithead! Time you showed up. We got trouble. Spit it out. Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick. Rub no. The twat soul caused a rock fall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon? Friend of Nears? Oh, you plow and drow now. <laughs> Disgusting. I assure you we are not plowing. Don't worry about what I'm here for. I'll be on my way. I, one of those absolute crackpots, found the hoon sailing Gex skiff. That's so. I... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Huh. I'll be. You ain't shitting. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Hmm. Hundred gold? It's not that much. Fine. Take it. We'll be shagged to Shanatar. Shit's looking up. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. <sighs> I've seen nasty, but these guys are on their own level. I have a feeling this is gonna end badly. Oh, I hope so. I wanna kill all of them. Slavers, fuck them. Um but for now, it's nice not to have to murder them immediately. Where are you going? One. <laughs> charlatan, charlatan, charlatan buddy pals. We are charlatans who are friends. Ooh, here's a corpse that wants to say something. An executed drow. <laughs> they don't freak out if I talk to the dead, do they? The Dwergar sending a message.
The corpse regards you lifelessly. Why is it talking to... Okay, well... Why is it talking to Karlak? What is your profession? What then? Hmm. What were you doing here? Cultists. Threat to Baldur's Gate. Jahira's orders. Jahira? Jahira? Can't say I know the name. I do. Jahira? Okay, so that... Mm. So Jahira is a character from Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Uh, what is she? She's a... Druid, I think? Ranger? One of the two. And one of the major companions of uh, the Baal spawn, who you're playing as in those two games. Okay. Who killed you? Okay. What is your profession? A harper? My, my. I'm running out of questions. Uh, presumably from Baldur's Gate. Got killed, we can tell. Where are your valuables? I'll ask. Have none. Well, hmm. Who are you? The hum. Harper Scout. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Well... Good to know. Figured I should get the name at least. Oh, 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 they don't like it if you loot them. Okay. Ooh, spiders. Do I still have my talk to animals? I do. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no Lolf, no Spider Queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small, keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered, adored. Hmm. Let's try. Give me guidance, would you, Shadowheart? I don't have a lot of bonuses here. Yay! Spider mutiny is pretty cool. <laughs> You've read that harming spiders is illegal among Lot's faithful, and often punishable by death. Father Mermoth is our past. Lolf is our future. These spiders are loyal to the local Dwergar. In the event of a fight, they will join the fray against you with slavering enthusiasm. What if they weren't, though? You should know that spiders are revered among Lolf's faithful. Harming one of your kind is a capital crime. Xanta, is it so? I've heard the very same. Come, brothers, follow me into her hairy embrace. Her embrace. We're ready. We follow. <laughs> yes. Now, brothers, our new dawn awaits. <laughs> Say goodbye to your spiders. Dumbass. Let me see your eyes, Under Elf. Absolute must have took you in. Hmm. Who hung these drow out to dry? Me? Who else? My spiders sussed them out of hiding. Then near taught them a thing or two, and I let them fly. Don't tell me the drow put up a fight, at least. Nah. The spiders had already tied them out by the time near got his hands on them. Once he broke their brains, their tongues wouldn't stop wagging. No fight in them after that. Didn't so much as groan when I snapped their spines. <laughs> God, that's horrific. I'll have your head. Nah. Where did the drive came from? Around. Easy, Margs. 
had the stench of the Toplands. Hung them here as a warning. Ain't no one drugs with clan flame shade. Just say fucks. Come on. Okay. He doesn't need to know that his spiders are gone. Uh... Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> Charming fellows. Yeah. Hope you're checking them for loot first. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. Well, aren't you clever and smart? Inspect the corpses. Ah, uh, get disadvantage because of the thing. Right. Oh! Oh wait, no, actually, just barely. I have the bonuses I keep forgetting. <laughs> keep forgetting. a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. Oh, sleight of hand, absolutely. Well, where's my bonuses at? That's a... Th Three plus three. Rather lie to them. Thank the absolute. They're all yours. Absolute. Thank you for being a dumbass. Deep gnomes killed under the yoke of slavers. Hmm. No shops on the food plane. I might just have to have a look in your pockets. I'm not really... Getting my where is that trinket? Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe save and reload there. Ah, well, um, okay, here they are. What's this? Is that a bugged item? What is that? Ah, here it is. Okay, yeah, that was bugged a little bit. Um, invisibility. Ooh. Keep a blade close. Hardly a challenge. Well, a little bit of a challenge. But get you some guidance on top of your rolls and you should be able to do it, right? Right? Yeah, easily. No time to rest. I do love how this game visually represents rolls. Of a nightfall feast. Like it, the, it, like it visually represents the what. In Shah's name, then spill blood in her name. The sacred right. It sort of makes visual the. Like the reality of, of what all. Like the way that the system works in DD is that it's not really the your base stats, like uh, not really the role that matters. So much as the things that all your bonuses do to the rolls. I hope we're able to continue on our way before too long. I know what you mean. Everyone is so unhappy. That's curious. 
What's curious? What's curious? I'm sorry. Hang on. What? What did... What? That's ah, there. Curious. Did you just perception... Yeah. <laughs> she somehow saw the button on the other side of the wall. Uh, Moving in. Funny. Huh. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Okay, uh, go there later. Let's just close that door. And... Well, this episode has kind of already gone on a little bit too long, frankly. So, with the mystery of whatever the hell is dripping down acid from the ceiling in here... Uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to cut an episode and uh, leave you on that particular peculiar cliffhanger. So, if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Baldur's Gate with me, you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. That'll let you know when more episodes are coming out. If you want to watch the episodes early, become a member of the channel. If you want to watch the streams where I record these things live, you can head on over to Twitch, uh, where you can subscribe and see the VODs of the streams if you just want to see all this stuff unedited. That is also an option. But you don't have to do any of that. It's very nice of you that you've watched this far. Thank you for your time and attention. Remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And may the tides of history wash gently over us all.